The city of Windhoek had to consider certain factors during the budgeting process that include minimal assistance from the government which prompted the council to increase tariffs and not to rely only on the sale of land. And some of the factors that were considered um, during the budgeting process and the tariffs are uh, high unemployment in Windhoek, the high bulk cost from Nampower and Namwata, those are our key uh, expenditure. They account for approximately 50% of our expenditure. The pressure that we are experiencing, um, as you are aware, uh, city of Windhoek, at the nerve center of, the gov of our government and the nation, there is a drive from people from all towns to come to this uh, city. At the same time, also, we consider the lack of funding from, uh, from central government that uh, we require government to assist it, us, but at the moment there is minimal assistance that we are receiving. And then at the same time we rely much on land sales. We all know that uh, land is finite resource in terms of uh, for local authority. However, at the moment we still use land sales to fund our operations. We want to maintain that our operational budget going forward we want it to be more sustainable, therefore it needs to be funded by, by tariffs, which are more sustainable, and the other additional sustainable revenue that we need to be able now to, to try to find that, if we, if we can find those revenue to be added to fund our operation. As I indicated, the land sales is an is a finite resource for city. So it will come to an end, so we cannot rely on that to be able to fund operations because most of the operations that we are uh, uh, involved in are infinity. They will be here 100 years to come, or even 1,000 years to come. So we cannot rely on land sales. So we need to find ways to be able to make sure that we, we, we rely on tariffs. Venduk residents have also now switched to using sun energy as a source of electricity, which might hinder as a major threat on city of Windhoek's revenue. Obviously, from the studies we've, we've carried out recently, um, as people are putting up um, solar roof panels, we are losing some revenue. However, through the help of the ECB, they are really looking at actually unbundling those tariffs. But a big part of our, our fixed costs are still in in the energy cost. Um, so that is actually changing. In fact, Nampoa this year actually sent us a, a dummy bill which actually separates that energy costs completely from the fixed costs. And that energy cost comes down. And so Nampoa on their side is out of the process. So we are also to start the same process. So what it means is that your fixed portion of the tariff will probably go up and the energy part will go down. So. Currently the practice is that if you are unprepaid and you put up a solar um, uh, uh, panel on your roof, you are then actually forced to go on postpaid so that council can recover their fixed portion of the revenue. The council has therefore come to a decision to increase general tariffs such as water, solid waste management, sewage and household refuse by 5%, which was approved and has been in effect since July 2019.